Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. Let's take one example. Prove that the diagonal of the rhombus are perpendicular to each other. So let's draw a rhombus. Actually, rhombus has all four sides equal. So let's suppose this is my rhombus. Like this. To make my life simple, I'll make this A, B, C, D and I'll take A as origin to make my life simple. Since this also I'll take in the x axis only, so B I'll make it as uh, x1, 0. This uh, D can be anything because I'm just making my life simple so I took this next axis. So this is nothing but you can take any value x2, y2, anything. C is we don't need actually, this can be x3, y3. I don't care. Now, to prove that the diagonals are perpendicular, let me draw the diagram. Diagonals. This is one diagonal and this is another diagonal. And at this point B. So, to prove they are all uh, what do you call them? perpendicular, if you can prove that AB square is equal to AO square plus OB square, that means it's right triangle. In this triangle, OB A or OAB. If you can prove that AB square is equal to OA square plus OB square, that means it is right triangle. Correct. If you can prove that, that means it is perpendicular. One thing we know also about rhombus is that this diagonals meet at the midpoint. So this point will be midpoint of DB, also this point will be midpoint of AC. So let's find the midpoint of DB. So midpoint of DB is nothing but x1 plus x2 by 2 comma 0 plus y2 by 2 this is the midpoint so this is o point is nothing but o i write here is nothing but x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y2 by 2 this is my point o. now i have to prove that a b square is equal to a o square plus o b square now let's find AO square. AO square will be this is 0, 0 and this is O. So it will be root of or root is not there. It will be simply x1 plus x2 by 2 square plus y2 by 2 square. That will be my AO square. Similarly, BO square will be b o square is equal to b and this is o, o minus value. So it will be x1 minus x1 plus x2 by 2, o square plus y2 minus y2 by 2 minus 0 square. Correct. This will be nothing but x1 minus x2 by 2 square is 2 plus y2 by 2 square that is b o square and if you take a b square that will be nothing but x1 minus 0 square plus 0 minus 0 square that will be x1 square so now we have to prove that a b square is equal to b o square plus a o square so let's try to add a o square plus b o square let's see what we get this will be x1 plus x2 by 2 square plus y2 by 2 square plus x1 minus x2 by 2 square plus y2 by 2 square. That is what we will get. So we will solve this what we will get is I can take 1 by 2 square common make my life simple. So this becomes x1 plus x2 square x1 plus x2 square plus y this is y1 y2 sorry this is y2 square plus x1 minus x2 square plus y2 square that is what we will get so this is nothing but see x1 uh, this will get minus 2x1x2, this will get plus 2x1x2, that will get cancelled. 
So end of the day, what you will get is one by four actually. One by two square will be one by four. So you get two x one square plus two x two square plus two y two square. That is what you get. Correct. Also, so this what you get is nothing but. So also we know that x two square plus y two square is equal to x one square. Why? O A is equal to O C. Correct. So this square. Yes. So let's see. B O B A is equal to. I'll tell you. B A is equal to what? See. B A is equal to x one square. Right. And this is also equal to D A. All sides are equal. And D A is equal to what? X two square plus y two square because x two minus zero square plus y two minus zero square is equal to this, and this also x two x one minus zero square. So we know that both are equal. B is equal to D A. Sides are wrong. So x two square plus y two square I can say is nothing but x one square, right? So this will become one by four into two x one square plus two x one square. Why? Right? Because x one square is equal to x two square plus y two square, so this I can write as two x one square. So this becomes four x one square by four, and this is four will cancel. This becomes x one square. And this is nothing but a b square. So the now we have proved that these two a o square plus o b square is equal to a b square. Thus, this is a right right. Then. Let's take the last question. If the vertices of the triangles have integral coordinates, prove that the triangle cannot be equilateral. So to do this, let's take a equilateral triangle, and we have coordinates x one y one, x two y two, and x three y three. Let this be integral coordinates. The area, if you want to find the area, will be we do this x one y one, x two y two. X three y three, x one y one. So we'll take area the number one by two into this one x one y two plus x two y three plus x three y one minus y one x two plus y two x three plus y three x one. This is the area. Now, if you see, these are all integral coordinates. So, this is a rational number. This is also a rational number. Rational number minus rational number is rational number. Rational number divided by two is also rational number. So, this is the whole thing is a rational number. Correct? Rational number. But we know that we do know that. That the ratio, the area of the triangle is nothing but root three by four into side square. Correct. That is root three by four into. Let's suppose the side is AB. See, AB square. Now AB square you can get is rational because AB square is nothing but x two minus x one square plus y two minus y square. This is the rational number, but rational number into irrational number is the irrational number. Right. So here we are saying that the area of this triangle is a rational number, but here we are saying that the the area of an equilateral triangle is a irrational number. That means this can't be this can't be a equilateral triangle. All right, because we have proved that the area of an equilateral triangle has to be a rational number, but the area of the triangle which we have formed, which we which we have got from integral coordinates, was rational number. So. Both are not same, so this is not a equilateral triangle. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.